Hello, welcome back. Now we are at the sixth graph. Wow, the sixth graph is the square root graph. Okay, square root functions. So now let's sketch the graph. Okay, kita nak explain dulu tentang um, the basic shape. Lah. Okay, there are actually four basic shape. Wow, kali ni basic shape untuk square root function memang a bit uh, banyak lah. Basic shape dia banyak. Usually kan ada dua je kan. Kalau linear sama ada positive linear or negative linear. Kalau quadratic sama ada senyum positive linear. Masam negative linear. Uh, kalau cubic pun sama. Like the shape is positive cubic. Uh, another shape is uh, negative cubic. Uh, reciprocal pun boleh nampak dengan mudah tapi kalau square root function you um, you will see four four basic uh, shape that you have to hafal okay so the basic shape untuk yang pertama the first basic shape okay basic shape one lah maybe I should write it down basic shape yang pertama adalah adalah square root positive everything is positive you know Everything is positive x, so this is the positive x area, and this is positive y area. So, so this is you know this is y punya value kan. So, you will see that a positive y positive x. So, of course lah di dekat bahagian first quadrant because this is positive area, you know. So the shape is always going to be like this kind. Okay, the shape is like that. Dotted line tu abaikan. Saya saya saja je sebab saya nak menunjukkan. Oh, that square root is actually coming from. Um, quadratic uh, that is later later lah okay so now uh, now you understand that this is the shape of the square root graph the square root function itu yang paling basic sekali kedua yang paling basic adalah basic shape yang kedua adalah di mana dia negative x you gotta understand i think you understand already when i say this is negative area this is negative x punya area sebab itulah dalam dia negative x manakala luar ni positive how do i know it's positive because because this is where y is positive your y is positive kalau your y is positive means this will be at the second quadrant okay so that is how you look that how you know the shape should be Okay, manakala kalau you have, um, you know, when you have this, when you have this, this is negative x punya area kan. So, negative x punya area, of course, is going to be negative. Tapi kalau sini pun you juga tahu this is negative y punya area. So, kalau negative y means here pun negative lah. Ah, so, this in front here, this symbol here, this uh, particularly... Uh, Hang on. This particularly negative sign over here gonna show you that this is actually the area. Negative y punya area. You know? Um, yeah, that's it. That is the negative y punya area. Uh, kalau, kalau yang belah sini pula, this is positive x, isn't it? That's why you have a positive x. Oops! Where is it going? Sorry about that. Ah, sini ha. This is a positive x punya area. So, this is positive x. Well, y is negative. The y is negative because this is like totally y coordinate kan. So, y di negative lah. So, y di negative. So, that is how easy you can um, remember. That is literally a tips. Literally a, a, a tips from me on how can you uh, hafal dengan mudah. You tak perlu takut dengan setiap basic shape. So, this is basic shape number 3 and this is basic shape number 4. Okay, I, I write it down according to its quadrant lah, alright? So, quadrant yang pertama, uh, this is at the first quadrant, basic shape dia. So, everything is positive. Positive X and positive Y, right? Easy. And then, yang ini, uh, what? Uh, basic shape yang kedua, maksudnya at the second quadrant. Yang mana yang negatif? And negatif X je yang negatif. Y dia positif. Uh, kan? Kalau kalau third quadrant pula, uh, again, third quadrant pula, everything is negative. So, you will see that, oh, dalam luar negatif. Uh, macam tu lah. Sangat senang kan? So, so it's very easy to hafal uh, basic shape untuk square root function. It's not that hard. Okay, now let's go to the... Um, apa ni uh, example lah 
Terus kita pergi ke example and and first of all, alamak, saya dah tertulis pula. I'm so sorry. So whatever inside of the square root here, whatever inside of the square root, dia mestilah x let tulis je x minus 1 must be greater or equal to 0 because everything in the square root do you remember you tekan calculator dalam calculator mesti more than 0 including 0 boleh so kalau dia more than 0 barulah dia define kalau dia negative dia tak akan define so whatever inside of the uh, whatever inside here you must Make sure it is e more than or equal to zero. Itu adalah step one. Okay, step one. And then you will get an answer saying that it's going to start from x more than or equal to one. So one is over here, zero is over there. So that one will be included. That one will be included and it's going to just draw to the right over there. Miss, macam mana Miss terus confident dia pergi ke arah kanan? Tak boleh ke arah kiri. Sebab, sebab this is what, my dear? As I said, this is positive x. This is positive y. Therefore, basic shape-nya adalah first quadrant yang pertama. Uh, everything is positive. Positive x, positive y. So, so you just gotta label it. Oops, minus 1. That is how easy you draw your square root functions punya graph. Uh, very, very easy. Okay. Sekarang ni domain dia kena baca dari x lah. x dia adalah 1. So, 1 to the positive infinity. 1 is included. So, you must put close bracket. While the... Um, lagi satu, kalau range ni pula, dia kena start daripada koordinat yang sama. Dia mesti start daripada point C2. Point yang sama juga. But you got to know that what is the Y coordinate. Y coordinate is 0. Okay. This is Y coordinate. So, Y coordinate is very important dalam range. Okay. Range sangat penting. Dia dia dia, dia ditengok daripada Y coordinate. Daripada Y, paksi Y. Y axis. So, you are going to start from 0 until positive infinity. 0 pun included. That is how it works untuk cari range dan juga domain. How about we go to the second example. Second example dekat sini. Wow miss, it's a bit difficult from the above here. But it's not that hard. Okay, so... Apa ya step yang pertama tadi? Step yang pertama, saya buat step pertama je. Sebab step pertama ni yang paling penting. Di mana di dalam ni, mestilah menjadikan dia more than or equal. Whatever inside of the square root must be more than or equal to zero. This is the first most important step. Saya akan tulis satu step je untuk yang ni. Memang literally is very very important untuk square root function. Memang itu je lah. Step 1 yang paling penting Yang 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 guideline kita untuk lukis So now you gotta start from X is negative 1 Okay, gotta label 0 juga Supaya clear The thing is you know that Where where does it going? Is it going to What is the basic shape? So the basic shape here is positive And here is negative Positive X, positive Positive x, positive x, negative y. So it's like going down lah kan. Yeah, going down. So you might thinking starting from 1, going down. Betul tak? You akan fikir macam tu. Tapi itu kalau tak ada nombor 5. Sekarang ni kita soalan kita ada positive 5. That positive 5 gonna, gonna help us to shift up by 5 unit. So you here from from dia dekat sini from here dekat sini we got to bring it up to 5 unit shift it up shift up by 5 unit let me label this okay this is shift up so so bila dia shift up bukan 
Bukan dia pergi ke 5 point tu terus pergi ke 5 Tidak tetapi dia akan naik Tengok eh saya naikkan dia Naik 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 Ya Haa ah, you berhenti You mesti berhenti dekat yang ada 5 ni And then you letaklah You letaklah A dot A dot A dense circle over there lah uh, It means that you shift up Shift up by 5 units uh, Tapi apa you Tapi tapi apa you start dari Belakang ni You start dari belakang barulah you tengok sh Boleh shift ke tak Kalau boleh baru shift Kalau tak boleh jangan shift Shift ni um, ikut keadaan sahaja ya uh, So Okay, saya nak memperjelaskan lagi sekali lah. Uh, the, the basic, saya ulang ya. The basic shape is 4. Now, our basic shape is 4. Going down. Isn't it? Yeah, it's going down. Oh, where is the shape? Yeah, the shape is going down. Okay, the shape is going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand it. I know that it's going down but... I, can, I actually want to show you How do I rearrange this You know, untuk bagi lebih nampak I'm so sorry, I should have done this before I, I rearranged them That the square root should be in front While the number 5 is at the back uh, Yang itu yang saya nak buat sebenarnya So Bukan apa, just nak bagi nampak yang Oh, this is positive x, this is negative y That's why it's going to be at the 4th quadrant And so, yeah, that's it you just got to make sure that you shift up after you shift up after after you only shift up after you have found x after you have draw after you have draw lah after you have draw x is more than negative 1 nampak tak step saya tadi saya mula-mula saya buat Cari ni Bila dah step saya dah cari ni Saya lukis Saya lukis dari bawah From the negative one here I go down I go down Okay from negative one here I go down Sebab kita kita lukis Berpaksikan kita punya X tau uh, You gotta remember that Untuk Untuk um, Apa ni Untuk square root function Kita lukis berpaksikan dia punya X Initially, it's over here. Initially, it's over there. But because of we have to shift up, that's why we go up, 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 up until there. That's all. Okay. So, domain dekat sini, dia akan jadi... Dia akan jadi negative 1. Oops, negative 1 is included until positive infinity. Well, tolonglah buat koordinat kot. Kalau you buat koordinat, lagi senang nampak. Well, here, from number 5, from negative infinity, from negative infinity, miss. Yelah, sebab dari bawah. Benda ni actually dari bawah ke bawah. Okay, guys. Actually, benda ni ke bawah, ya. Yeah? So, you... You got to be extra careful lah over there. Okay. So, dia ke bawah and then dia dari bawah. Bila dia dari bawah, negative infinity. Dia dari bawah ya. Eh? Huh. You got to be very careful lah cara nak tengok. Dia dari bawah ke naik atas. Sampailah dia berhenti ke 5 dan 5 included. Yeah, you got to be very careful in reading range. Range yang senang sekali. Senang sekali budak. Uh, student callous. Well, here, saya nak cari intercept dia kat sini. It should be when x is 0, negative 1 plus 5 is 4. It should be 4 over here. Wow, saya punya 4 tu kan main lagi. Dekat kan main? Maybe because, yeah, maybe I can adjust it a bit. Hmm. So, I adjust sikit lah. So, this is actually 4. <laughs> yeah, sketching tak apa. Jangan risau kalau dia tidak tepat mengikut uh, dia punya scale. It doesn't matter. This is just a sketching. Okay. So, I hope you... What matters the most is labeling. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm keep saying it, but I didn't do it. Yeah, you. What is the most important thing about this video is how you know which basic graph that you are supposed to draw, uh, which means it is according to the questions. All right. So you must pick the correct basic shape according to the questions. All right. Good luck. <laughs>